Hi, I'm Mike Hall. I'm sitting down here with Scott Seeley, who is, uh, he runs the LakeCounty.net user group and he's a Microsoft Regional Director. So he's very involved with the community in the, uh, in the Midwest region. Uh, so Scott, can you tell me a little, little bit about LakeCounty.net user group, why you founded it, and as a Regional Director, what have you kind of experienced with the user group community in and around Chicago, and, or, or actually what region do you cover? Okay, so first off, um, the County Dedit User Group was founded by myself and another gentleman named Tim Stahl. Uh, Tim and I both saw the need to have a user group in the northern burbs just because of the fact that in the Chicago area, due to the traffic and the way that everything everybody's kind of spread out, yeah. um, people don't like driving more than 40 minutes from home. Right. Um, because of that, you wind up with user groups, um, some in Chicago, some in the north, some out, out in the western burbs. I don't know of any down in the southern burbs, obviously, yeah. but... Um, that's what wound up happening. So Tim and I both live north of Chicago and wanted something closer to home and going to Downers Row for our Dutton user group meetings. Um, so that's why we founded the group was pretty much we didn't like driving. Right. <laughs> and we wanted to and we like going to user group meetings. Um, right now Dutton, Lake County we've got a we've had attendees, uh, our, our mailing list I guess is the best way to measure that. And about five hundred different people have shown interest at one point or another. So that's about how many people we notify every time that we have a meeting. On average, we get about 20 to 40 people, typically closer to the 20 side, for when folks show up. Yeah. And typically the same people coming back, or do you, do you get new blood coming in? How, how is that? It seems that we have, like, um, you'll go in streets where you'll have five or six people who will be there several months in a row, and then it just kind of tr turns over. We have some folks who've been going pretty regularly for the past several years. Mm -hmm. um, and that makeup just changes. You have people who it's part of the regular schedule for a while, then they get a new contract somewhere else, they go yeah. elsewhere, and then when that contract ends, they're closer to home, they also have to start showing up again. Oh, okay. So, so, so they're regulars, but just life sometimes. Life happens. Plans, yes. Yeah. Um, as far as the regional director thing goes, that's just an honorary title, which means for Microsoft saying, hi, you've been very active in the community. So yeah. my regional director is kind of a weird name. I don't actually have a region yeah, it I'm sounds responsible like a real, for. Real title. Oh yeah, it's, it sounds real. Like, uh, I mean, it is a real title. It's just that it's not paid. You're it's not a descriptive for title. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I, I'm neither a director at Microsoft nor nor do I have a region. Um, typically, what they do is they say that for a given population center, we'll, they'll decide to fund a regional director, mm -hmm. and the funding happens at Microsoft where they have um, there's a person that's actually paid at corporate to make sure that we're getting the right information. There are people at corporate who spend time with us on internal stuff telling us what's happening so we can better articulate it to the community and drive events so folks know like what's going on. kind of like a spokesperson yeah. for like you're, you're so well known in the community in Chicago that you're a great person to talk to you to be like a pivot for, for getting all that information. Right, or, or I'm at least well enough known to Microsoft that I have the ambition to get stuff done and eventually then the, the the fame comes <laughs> as a result of, of, the pro, of the program. Someone who's willing to do the work that's required. And it's a karma-based system. Microsoft doesn't pay you, but the opportunities themselves, right. uh, that's where you get your benefits. Okay. And you know, and, and when they say region, you're talking Chicagoland region. It isn't Midwest. Or it's well, it's, like, so there's another, there are several RDs nearby. that We have, um, there's, a, I believe it's, Dan Walleen, I hope I'm not mistaken where Dan is actually located. We have a few folks over in Michigan. We've got Rocky Laka up in Minnesota. There's me, and then if you start heading south, you don't get to anybody until you get to Marcus Eggers in Texas oh, and Todd that's, Fine that's sitting in Georgia. Yeah. But between Illinois, so you have Missouri. Um, what's the state between no Missouri? Geography. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> my geography is horrible. Uh, Louisiana, nothing. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't reflect on the IT community, it just reflects on people who have stood up in the community and Microsoft has decided to promote them up to that level. Okay. But yeah, they're scared throughout. And then when we get to the south again, all of a sudden, you get concentrations. Like there's a guy named Todd Fine and Mark Dunn mm -hmm. who are both fairly close to each other. Uh, similar to Rocky and I being close to each other between Chicago and Minneapolis. Okay. All right, well, thank you very much for sitting down with me, Scott. Appreciate right. it. Yep. Scott Seeley, Lake County Donut User Group. Thanks.